From the Opopco Studios in Oklahoma City, this is OU Basketball with David Ubbin. I'm Jenny Carlson. David, huge win for the Sooners over the weekend. Beat Texas, a team that I don't think many people gave the Sooners a chance against. What happened in that game to get the Sooners over the, over the top? Well, they played pretty good defense in the first half, but more than anything, the shots were falling. I mean, everybody, uh, Tommy Mason Griffin, I think he hit four of his first five threes. Uh, Kay Davis knocked down some shots in the first half. Everybody was, was hitting, and they were playing pretty good defense, and they really limited uh, Dexter Pittman and Damian James' effectiveness. And all that's thanks to Ryan Wright, who had 10 rebounds in the first half and finished with uh, 11 points and 14 rebounds for his first career double-double. Um, but just a, a good game from, from pretty much everybody. Uh, just a, a solid effort from, from all around, and they, and they beat Texas, who is really struggling right now. What does this do for OU's potential NCAA tournament hopes? Are they reignited, or are they still... Uh still sort of on hold at this point. They've still got a long ways to go. They've got to reel off a bunch more wins. Uh, but maybe it's a start. Uh, but the real thing they've got to do is learn how to win on the road. They haven't done that very well this year. I think they're 2-9 and nine away from Norman. Got to find a way to do that because uh, they're not going to host any NCAA tournament games. They're not going to host uh, <laughs> too many postseason games at all. So to get that, you know, they, they've still got to do that. But then, of course, no matter how badly you play, you've still got four games in March where you can roll off and, and get into the tournament, so you never really know what's going to happen. One of the things coming out of the Texas game was Willie Warren is back on the bench a, a lot, didn't play very much with that ankle. Are we learning more about this ankle injury and at, sever at severity? Uh, he looked a little bit hobbled. I mean, he only played 16 minutes, but they didn't think he was going to play at all um, on Saturday. Uh, I think he only warmed up a, a few minutes before the game. Uh, I think as late as 45 minutes before the game, before shoot-around, he wasn't going to play. Um, he decided to come out and give it a go. I think part of that was because they were playing Texas and because he knew um, you know, this was a huge game, maybe the biggest game of, of Oklahoma's year, um, and one that they really needed him for. And he, he provided some, some good things and gave up a, a huge basket late, one that Co Coach Cable called uh, you know, the biggest basket of the game. So just a, a good effort from him, and he did what he could. You mentioned winning on the road and how this team's going to have to figure that out. Well, they've got a home game against Texas Tech midweek, and then they go to OSU, a Bedlam game, on the road. Talk about the importance of these two games for this team. Well, you have to beat Texas Tech at home. There's no reason to lose that game. You know, they had them in, in Lubbock and ended up losing that game. Uh, they gave up a, a run late. Um, but you just you have to win that game if you, if you want to have any kind of uh, idea to, to move on and maybe gain some respect back that you've lost earlier in the year. And then going to Stillwater, that's going to be a tough place to, tough place to win. Um, they haven't won, you know, like I said, on the road very well this year. Um, plus, you got Oklahoma State who's going to be a little angry from what they did uh, early in the year. And Oklahoma State, I believe, has lost three in a row. Um, and they need, to, they need to come up with a win themselves for Oklahoma State's pro pro probably uh, a little more realistic uh, NCAA tournament hopes. So you're going to have an angry Oklahoma State team on Saturday. It's going to be a, a tough place for them to go ahead and get a win. It's always Bedlam. Thanks, David. Okay. Stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoman.